as we said at the outset, we, we deeply regret the, the incident and our role in it, but we, um, we've received the notice of, uh, of findings and it's something that uh, we're working through uh, with our board tomorrow. We have a scheduled meeting uh, there. The FUBA uh, findings through the notice of decision are quite comprehensive and they address all of the matters that we set out in our submission. Um, the this, this charges uh, and the sanctions that have been handed down uh, which FIBA have released and we're in our, our media statement as you've seen. You know, our three players, Daniel Kickett, Don Maker and Chris Goulding have all been found uh, guilty and, uh, and have received match suspensions. It's important to note the match suspensions are for FIBA uh, Asia qualifiers for World Cup. They don't apply to, uh, to NBL for Chris and Daniel or to Thon for NBA. Now we're really pleased uh, with the, the, the thoroughness of the FIBA process uh, and the FIBA uh, response to us uh, set out quite clearly that uh, you know, the, the allegations of, of racism that were made uh, you know, by, by some sections of the Australian media were proven to be absolutely baseless. Um, they weren't a contributor uh, to uh, any of the, uh, the incident that occurred and they, they were found to be actually no, no substantive points uh, in relation to racism. Look, it's unlikely that we will do that. Um, it's something that uh, will be a conversation with the Players Association and the players. Um, Daniel Kickett's put out a statement through the Sydney Kings accepting his penalty. Uh, Thon Maker is in transit, so we're talking to, uh, to his agents in the US, so that's one that we'll, we'll address in, in, the, in the, the coming 24 hours. Uh, and with the Players Association just following up with Chris. So it's unlikely from a Basketball Australia perspective that we'll appeal, but we do have a scheduled board meeting tomorrow and that's something that we'll, we'll talk through. Look, it's the, the FIBA findings uh, from the panel actually set out the reason that, that they've provided him with a sanction. Um, the findings of the panel were that, you know, throughout the game there was some niggle between uh, Chris and a couple of players. Um, FIBA took the FIBA panel, took the view that that you know, that actually, you know, perhaps contributed to the, the third quarter incident. Um, on balance, that's something that we'll talk about tomorrow as a, as a board. Um, given everything that we saw with Chris under the, under the basket with 20 players on him, it's, it's a little tough to, to swallow that one, but that's a conversation that we'll have as a board tomorrow and, and with Chris. Will you be